It's been a night of confusion for the people of Egypt. State news agencies had initially reported former President Hosni Mubarak was clinically dead after a stroke, but later reports say he's on life support. But now in the last half hour, we're getting other reports saying that the former president is not clinically dead, that he'd suffered a heart attack, they have they used the defibrillator, he was unconscious, but he was still alive. Our own sources are saying that the condition of Hosni Mubarak has slightly improved. There's been a formal announcement on state television within the last few minutes confirming that Hosni Mubarak is in intensive care. The dictator who had ruled Egypt for almost 30 years was found complicit in the murder of 850 protesters during last year's Egyptian revolution and sentenced to life in prison on June 2nd. As preemptive reports of his death began to emerge, theories began to circulate that it was all a conspiracy by the military. The Global Post says the rumors and speculation surrounding the reports of his death illustrate the extent to which Egyptians have not only become exhausted with news of Mubarak's health, but also the level at which they distrust the media. Egypt has seen its fair share of drama in the past year, not to mention just the past few days. ABC News' Thomas Nagorski calls the most recent developments stunning. In the last 48 hours, the military has grabbed more constitutional powers, the presidency has been weakened, the long outlawed Muslim Brotherhood has declared victory, and today the opposition says they, in fact, have won. Reminiscent of the revolution that brought down Mubarak, Egyptian protesters had gathered in Tahrir Square when they first heard Mubarak had died. According to the Telegraph, the news sent silence through Tahrir Square, where tens of thousands of people had gathered for a protest against the latest power grab by the military. Some in the crowd then began singing the national anthem. For Newsy, I'm Christina Hortman. Multiple sources, The Real Story.